at the Everything Hunky Dory Crafting Studio. We are going to be making Valentine's Day heart pens. The first thing that we're going to do is find a ballpoint pen, like so. We're going to find some really fun duct tapes. These are the ones I'm going to make today. First, I'm going to start off with a small piece that I'm going to carefully wrap around the tip of the pen. And I like to flatten that top part just to have it nice and smooth. Now I'll take a pair of scissors and I'd like to make the top of it sort of like a tulip. So I'm going to zigzag across and have a tulip shape. The next thing I'm going to do is tear another piece of duct tape and fold it so that there's a little bit of sticky on the bottom, but that the top is folded over itself. And I'm just going to make little cuts just along the double-sided part, so not the sticky part. I want to leave that clear so that I can use that to tape it around the end of the pen for a little decorative flare. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to wrap it just like so around that tulip that we made earlier. The next step that I'm going to do is find one of my fun duct tapes. Take a longer piece, about so, and I'm going to fold it in on itself. Again, making sure to leave a little bit of stickiness at the bottom. From here, we have two different ways to make a heart. One way is to simply trim the shape of a heart on the top. And then leaving almost like a stick or like a, a tail from the bottom of the heart, the pointed part, down to the bottom. And then again, leaving the sticky part there. And you can start seeing from this pen here, you can see the heart. This is what we just cut from that sticky piece. So we went from something like this, with sticky on the bottom, fold it over itself, to the heart and the sticky part. And we can tape it around the pen, depending on where we want the heart. The second way to make the heart, and I think it's a little easier, but really it's anybody's preference. Again, we're gonna start with the same long piece, fold it in on itself, so we have the sticky part on the bottom. And then the way that we are normally cutting hearts is when we have a piece of paper, but this time we're gonna use the tape, fold it in half, making sure that we don't have the sticky part facing each other. I'm gonna simply cut that shape, being careful not to go all the way through. I wanna leave again that tail at the bottom, all the way down to the sticky part of the tape. There we go, that's the other way to do it. I'm then going to stick that heart around my pen, and now I have two hearts flapping around my little tulip flower at the top. Once I've cut a couple more hearts, which I've prepared here, we're going to tape them at different lengths, different heights along the pen. I like to use some solid colors too. And now we're almost there. You can see we're getting close. We have our hearts around the tulip at the tip of the pen there. But it's a little bit too floppy here. I'd like to give it some structure. So what I'm going to do is take another piece of tape. Whoops. There we go. And much like we did for the top part of the pen, we're going to fold it lengthwise against itself, leaving that sticky part. And I like to make it a little more interesting than the flat top. So I'm gonna take scissors and just do a little wavy design. You can do a zigzag, you can do that um, hair clipping. So we have the zigzag or the wavy pattern. And I'm going to wrap it around closer to the top of the pen so that it will help to hold these in place so that they're not moving around too much. I'm gonna take that higher up and it gives it a nice decorative edge. There we are, we've got our hearts around the tulip. And now for the final touch, just to kind of bring it all together and cover the pen part, 
I'll take a long piece, I like this paint for this. And I like to tear it down the middle so that it's a little bit longer, thinner piece. And sort of like a spiral, I'm going to start up here near the, that last piece we put down, the wavy part, and I'm going to spiral it down all the way till I get to the bottom. 